Hello all. First of all, I thank Triple FM for giving me this platform to present my work. My name is Siri Kiran Reddy and I am from IIT Hyderabad, India. My topic for today's poster presentation is Galvanic Displacement and Compositional Modulation in Electrochemically Deposited Fe, CO, Ni, CuZ and High Entropy Alloy Thin Films. Unlike conventional alloys which have a principal base element like for example iron in case of steels, high entropy alloys have 5 or more constituent elements in almost similar proportions. Galvanic displacement reactions also known as GDR are reactions where an element with a more positive reduction potential steals electrons from an element that has a lower reduction potential. The formation of a thin layer of copper on the surface of an iron nail when it is immersed in copper sulphate solution is an example of this. My abstract in a nutshell is that we observe these galvanic displacement reactions in case of my alloy after electrodeposition and that the same were characterized by scanning electron microscopy and X-ray diffraction studies. For experimentation, we have used an all sulphate aqueous electrolyte made up of sulphates of iron, cobalt, nickel, copper and zinc. To initiate GDR, after completion of the electrodeposition, we held the electrodes immersed in the electrolyte for various time periods. SEM images of the as deposited or 0 minute immersed sample indicate a globular structure whereas for the 60 minute immersed samples we can see dendrites on top of these globules. SEM EDS mapping of one of these globules of the 60 minute sample shows that the copper concentration is seen to increase at the expense of other elements. The same can also be concluded by the SEM EDS spot analysis where the rate of decrease of zinc concentration is almost equal to the rate of increase in copper concentration during the first 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, on account of the low concentration of zinc, the rate of increase of copper concentration is equal to the sum of the rates of decrease of iron, cobalt and nickel concentration. Since electrodeposition process is not an equilibrium process, the deposited film, especially the electrodeposited HES, don't have enough time to form a highly crystalline structure as evident from the XRD results. And the initial peaks relating to BCC HEA at approximately 44.5 degrees is seen as having a downward trend as the holding time increases. This is balanced by an increase in the XRD peak corresponding to that of copper on account of a copper film form. Zinc, which has the lowest reduction potential, is ready to give away its electrons to the copper ions from the electrolyte solution and that these copper ions undergo reduction reactions and form metallic copper on the thin film. After zinc, GDR reactions start replacing iron, cobalt, nickel from the thin films and with time their concentrations decrease. The almost similar dissolution rates of iron and cobalt in spite of their different standard redux potential can probably be due to complex formation or associated kinetics. Placing the electrode in deionized water right after electrodeposition can eliminate GDR. Though GDR reactions are unwanted reactions, they can still be employed to form ABB type multilayers where A is an alloy and B is copper respectively. With this I concluded my talk and thank the audience for their time. Have a good day.